Hello everyone. I hope everybody is safe and sound and enjoying the new way of learning. Uh, I'm so happy to see your positive response on these videos because I have seen number of students, number of students are watching these uh, uh, study materials. Uh, actually, we the teachers are doing their best to give you the best. Okay. So today we have to start the new chapter geographic grid latitude and longitude okay so as we know that the earth surface is so vast that unless a mathematical method is used it is impossible to locate a place on it so for this reason uh, our imaginary line uh, are drawn on the globe and these lines are running from east to west which is parallel to equator. So there are number of terms are coming here. What the what is the meaning of these term that we will explain later. Clear. So the lines running from north to south uh, 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 through the poles are called lines of longitude, and the lines running from east to west parallel to the equator are called lines of latitude. Okay. And these grids are making, these, these lines are making a grid which is called as a geographic grid. There was a Greek philosopher, uh, a Greek philosopher, Eratosthenes, uh, who had for the first time calculated the circumference of the earth and devised line of latitude and longitude to locate the place on the earth. Now, see how uh, the longitude and latitude are able to locate the places. These are the important reference lines which help us to locate places, uh, make various kind of calculation, indicate direction, show many other, so many other features uh, also. Okay. So, uh, we have already studied what is latitude, what is longitude and here we will start the detailed study of the parallel of latitude. Why we are calling it parallel of latitude, what its definition and what are the main features of uh, parallel of latitudes. As we know that lines of latitudes are the imaginary line joining all the places having the same latitude towards north and the south of the equator. You can see in the map, uh, it's a north and this is the south. And both the sides, the line, the parallel line is called as a uh, parallel line to equator is, a, is a known as parallel of latitude. Now the question comes, what is equator, right? Here on the screen, this yellow line is equator. And the equator is dividing the entire earth into two equal part and dividing into two hemisphere northern hemisphere that is the upper part is called as a northern hemisphere lower part is called as a, a southern hemisphere so equator is dividing uh, dividing the earth into two equal part and parallels of latitude used to be parallel to the equator right total 180 parallels of latitudes are there. Before we explain it, uh, I, you, can, you can note one thing. Here you will be able to see every latitudes are named with a degree. 10 degree north, 20 degree north, 35 degree north. How we measure that? That we will just discuss first. As we know that a latitude is a angular, angular distance of a place north or south of the equator. And generally latitudes are marked in degree with equator being zero. Clear? Equator being zero. Now just you see this is the uh, diagram and this is equator and with the parallel to this equator will be considered as zero. Clear? And this is the center. This is the center. Okay? And these are all the parallel of latitudes. Now with the center, with the center, each latitude has degrees. Clear? As it increases, the degree also will increase. It goes like this. Okay? And you must be knowing that at the pole, it makes 90 degree. And that's the reason North Pole used to be, uh, North Pole's degree is 90 degree. And the equator's degree is 0 degree. And the next main feature 
you can be said कि each parallel of latitude is a full circle, but all the circles are in different shape. Their diameter is different. At the last, that is at the north pole, it become a point. Right, so all the circles are not the same, but it used to be in full circle. It used to be in full circle. Okay, the lines of latitudes are not equal length and become smaller as we move towards uh, the pole. Otherwise, as as these latitudes move away from the equator, the size of the circle becomes smaller and smaller. So altogether, one hundred and eighty parallel of latitudes are there on the uh, on the earth. Ninety parallel of latitudes are there in the northern hemisphere. You can see here in the northern hemisphere, and uh, the next ninety ninety latitudes are there in the southern hemisphere. Now we are going to uh, read. Uh, the main latitudes, as we know that altogether, one eighty one parallels of latitudes are there at one degree interval. Clear, uh, but all one eighty one is not much important. Uh, most important are uh, total civil latitudes. Clear, and they are equator, North Pole, South Pole, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. Clear? So just we will see it in this uh, diagram. This is the uh, this is the important. These are the important uh, latitudes. Okay. So the first one is equator. The first one is a equator and it represent zero degree. It represent zero degree. Uh, 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 zero degree and this equator is dividing the Earth into two equal part. Next important one is North Pole and South Pole. It is not mentioned here. As we know that Earth is rotating on its axis, clear? And the extreme north of the axis is called as North Pole, and the extreme south of the axis is called as South Pole. The degree is ninety degrees north, and South Pole's degree is ninety degree uh, south. Why ninety degree? As we know that it makes ninety degree angle from the center. Clear the same way South Pole also makes the ninety degree angle with the equator. Now, now we will just uh, uh, read about the next important. Equator that is the Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer, right, is a line of latitude located at twenty three and half degree north. It is located at twenty three and half degree north of equator, right, and it is important because it passes through India and divide India into two parts. Okay, uh, two parts. Now the next one is a Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Capricorn is a line of latitude located at twenty three and half degrees south. It is very important. Twenty three and half is the same twenty three and half, but North make it Tropic of Cancer, S make it Tropic of Capricorn. Next is Arctic Circle. It represents. Sixty-six and half. It is not mentioned here. It is wrong. Sixty-six and half is the correct. Sixty-six and half degree north. Clear. And the Arctic Circle mark the limit of the North Pole region surrounding the North Pole. Okay. This is the end of the North Pole zone. Next one is Antarctic Circle. It represents sixty-six and half. Here also a half will come. Sixty-six and half degree south latitude, and the Antarctic Circle mark the limit of the South um, Polar region around the South Pole. So these are the important. This you have to buy hard because in class tenth, when we will uh, we, when we will go through the chapter climate, there we have to use these. Uh, 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 these uh, these uh, main latitudes. So first one is ninety degree North Pole, sixty six and half degree North Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, twenty three and half degree North Equator Zero, Tropic of Cancer, twenty three and half degree South, 
Antarctic Circle 66 and half degree south and uh, South Pole that is 90 degree south. Okay. Now the next heading is uh, what are the uses of these latitudes? Okay. Main three uses are there. First to find the location of a place. Second one to measure the distance of a place. And the third very important that is the heat zone. Okay. Now, uh, just we will see how, uh, uh, how these latitudes are helping us to locate the places. As we know that equator is dividing the earth into two equal parts. And uh, latitude gives us the location of a place north or south. Any, any, for example, Delhi. Delhi is situated at the northern hemisphere. It means at the north side of the equator. If we talk about Australia is situated in the southern hemisphere, it means the southern part of the equator. Clear? And such location is known as an absolute location. Now we are just going to see how these latitudes are helping us to measure the distance of a place. Uh, distance are calculated with the reference to the equator at the right angle. Okay? At the right angle, we will measure the distance. Uh, we can therefore measure the distance of any place from the equator based on its degree of latitude. By the degree of latitude, we can measure ki how far the city is from the equator. Now here, uh, there is one example. It is given here ki Mumbai is situated at 19 degree north. It means from from equator to Mumbai, there are 19 latitudes. There are 19 latitudes. Now, how we will just measure the distance? As we know that, ki 0 to 1, it means after 0, there will be 1 degree north. The distance between one uh, latitude to the another latitude is 111 kilometer. How much? 111 kilometer. Then what will happen if the, the distance, the, the latitudes between equator to Mumbai is 19, then we will multiply this 19 with 111 and what will be our answer? 2,109 kilometers. So in that way, we can measure the distance between the equator and Mumbai is 2,109 kilometer. Once again, I am repeating. As we know that the 1 degree latitude is equal to 111 kilometer. Clear? It means 0 degree north to 1 degree north. Between these two lines has 111 kilometers distance. So, in case if uh, equator to Mumbai has 19 kilometer, then naturally the 19 will be multiplied by 111 and your answer will be 2109 kilometer. So, this is the way how these latitudes are helping us to measure the distance of a place. The same way you can find it out the New Delhi also. New Delhi is uh, 30. 30 multiplied by 111 kilometer, you will find the answer. Okay. Now we are just going to discuss the third use of latitude. Uh, these latitudes uh, are helping us to locate places on map, chart, lines of latitude, uh, etc. But these lines of latitude also divide the earth into different heat belt. Okay. So here we are going to discuss the different heat zones. So the first heat zone is the torrid zone. Uh, torrid zone and its another name is tropical zone too. Right? The area lying between the tropic of Cancer to tropic of Capricorn that is 23, uh, uh, 23 and half degree north to 23 and half degree south. In between these two lines, the whole area used to be considered as a torrid zone. What is the speciality of this torrid zone? It is the hottest zone of the earth because throughout the year, this part of the earth receives sunlight. Equal amount of sunlight they used to receive throughout the year. 
there are two temperate zones. One is in northern hemisphere, another is in uh, southern hemisphere. Right? So, the, in the northern hemisphere, the area lying between Arctic Circle to Tropic of Cancer. In between these lines, the area used to be called as temperate zone of northern hemisphere. Clear? And in southern hemisphere, the boundaries are the Tropic of Capricorn to Antarctic Circle. In between these two latitudes, the area used to be called temperate zone of the uh, temperate zone of the uh, southern hemisphere. In the climate of this region, uh, generally used to be very moderate, neither too hot or not uh, very cool. Now the third heat zone, uh, third heat zone is frigid zone. Between the Arctic Circle and North Pole, Arctic Circle, Arctic Circle and North Pole and between Antarctic Circle and South Pole are the two frigid zones of the Earth. These are the polar region and receives the uh, sun's slanting rays and in these two zones very low temperature are recorded. So, uh, for today's class, this much is enough. Uh, now, so we'll just uh, recap what all things we have studied today. Uh, we have started what is geographic grid and we studied the two lines that is longitude, latitude intersect each other and this crisscrossing lines uh, uh, make the geographic grid. After that we have studied about the uh, what is latitude right and what are the main features of latitude how it used to be um, um, uh, uh, how it used to be measured clear uh, and after that we have studied about uh, what is equator how the equator is divided into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere after that we have studied uh, what are the main latitudes in that we have studied equator north pole um, south pole tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle and antarctic circle clear yeah. so these were the main uh, latitude and their degrees which you have to by heart okay after that we have studied how uh, how these latitudes are used Okay, these latitudes are used mainly in three ways. First, to, uh, to find the location of an area. Second, usage is to measure the distance of a place from the equator. Clear? And the third, how these lat latitudes are dividing the earth into different heat zones. So, uh, what you have to do uh, as an as a assignment, uh, you have to by heart the main latitude and their degree and make a diagram. Take a make, make a diagram and it is important because now uh, last year onwards diagram also used to come in the exam. So you have to prepare the uh, diagram that is all the main latitudes. Clear? And a few exercises I'll just uh, uh, give along with this video and just do it. Okay? So enjoy your days and be safe at home.